well hello everyone so today we are going to deal with how to create points uh, along the route at a specified distance in QGIS we have already seen how to you know locate features along the route but uh, let's say uh, this is a line here it's just following a very simple road and we have a few points now these points have uh, changes on them. Changes it's the distance at which I want this point to appear on my line. Okay, so thousand. So I want this point to be generated here. Three thousand. I want this point to be generated here. Seven five. Yeah, yeah, and you get it. Now, if it would have been, uh, if there are differences between these distances, would have been constant. Let's say thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, and so on. It would have been very easy. I could simply go to QChainH to get that. Uh, let's let's just download all our plugins first. Go to plugins, then manage and install plugins. First of all, search QChainH. This one, install it. The second one you will be needing is LRS. This one and install it. So uh, I was at if the distances between the points were uh, regular. Like thousand, uh, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. I could simply go to Q change, select my layer, okay, the line layer, change every. The unit is in meters, so I would just go hundred. If I want to force my last point, I can click it. I can give it a name, and I'm just going to go, okay. And automatically, what we get is a point generated at every thousand meters. So let's see. Yeah, it's cool. But we cannot do that. So let's just switch off this map. So the base map is gone, and we do not, we cannot work with that because the distances that we have are not regular. For that, we would need to convert this line into a root, and after that, we would use our LRS plugin. Where is it? Go to vector and LRS. So this nice uh, window pops up here. The very first thing we need is to calibrate this route. Let's just remove this layer from here. Okay. Now to calibrate this layer, I need a start and end point for this line. I will just use Q change for that. You know, and click on this only first and last point. Okay. Now I have two points, one at start and one at the end of the line. And if I open its attribute table, what I can find is ID and CNG meters. It's the uh, is the it is the length of my line at that exact point. So at zero, uh, there's zero and there is uh, forty-nine thousand nine hundred over here. I'm going to add another field here actually. Um, it's going to be named as root. It would be text twenty, and I'm going to write here as root a. Again, root a. Why root a? We we will look into that right now. This this line that I want to calibrate. If I open its attribute table, uh, you see this root field here, and there's this value root a. So we need a a common a common field value you now with which we can relate the two different layers. So to calibrate it, what do I want to calibrate? I want to calibrate my line, and the line's root field is root the the common uh, the field in which the common value exists. The root a is my common value. It exists in the root field. Okay, the points layer that I'm going to use to calibrate it, chain line. The points root field is in root. Root a is written in root. Measure field CNG meters. Your measurement data is found in CNG meters, and its unit is meters. So that is okay. Check for any errors. 
no errors and then we will just create this LRS layer. You can rename it but right now we are just going to keep it as LRS. Okay, we get a new line and this has been calibrated. Now let's come to our main event. I want these points to appear on this line at these exact changes or at these exact length. I will go to events, layer with measure, my LRS layer has the measure, root field. If you see these, these points data, they also have a root uh, field and root A is its field value. It is common with my LRS layer. We have a root and a field value root A is it's common. So that is how we are going to relate those two. Uh, the events that we want to be plotted here, uh, event layer would be my points, my events root field is in root, start measure field is in chainage, right? The distance is in chainage. This 11,500 is in chainage. I want all the features to be there. Uh, the name should be this event. If there is an error, this let's just click OK. And we have got uh, these points generated here. So let's just put on this side. It is how much? Okay, it is 1000. Nice. This should be 3000. Okay, good. And so you can just keep on going like that. 7500. And this is how you can locate, uh, create all your points at specified distance along a line. Very, very helpful feature and hope you would use it. So, thank you.